of this one or another up. Whether it is something that is affecting the whole family, or something that is ailing one individual family member, sometimes the people we share most of our time with just do not know how to push through that tough moment, or react to that tough situation. In the nearly 18 wonderful years that my family and I have been members of St. James, we have experienced some of these tough moments. Had it not been for the love and the support of this family sitting here in front of me, this St. James family, those tough times would have been most assuredly exponentially worse. In the span of four or five years, my family experienced the losses of two beloved grandmothers, an uncle and a wonderful brother, several great aunts, the mother of a dear family friend, and my youngest sister's best friend, who was like a sister and daughter to all of us when she was only 12 years old. In addition to all of those losses, our family spent many sleepless nights trying to comfort my little sister as she battled with, with what we would later come to find out were a unique type of epileptic seizures. Needless to say, there was Everyone in the family had a daily role 
When you travel to Hollywood, South Carolina, and build and repair homes for those who do not have anyone else to turn to. When you raise money to put a young, sorority woman through college. When you bring a hot meal to a family that is in need. When you bake over 1,000 loaves of bread to hand out to the community food bank at Thanksgiving. You are the family of God. As Jesus says to the crowds, whoever does the will of God is my brother and my sister and my mother. You are the family that Jesus was preaching about. St. James is representative of the family that Jesus was preaching about. What's even greater is that you're not the only ones who make up the family. All Christians are invited into this family. The other churches in Fall here in Virginia, in the U.S., and around the world are all part of the family that Jesus was preaching about. I bet you never knew that you had so many brothers and sisters, did you? If you will recall, last week we celebrated Trinity Sunday. Father Ben preached that the embers of Trinity, the driving force of the continual movement of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is the community in which God invites us into. The community that God is calling us to be a part of. The community that when two or three of us are gathered in his name, God is with us and we are with him. This family is that community. And we as Christians are called to be part of it. Bishop Johnson once preached that the time spent from Advent 1 to Pentecost are the seasons of the church when the acts of God are revealed. And that the time spent from Pentecost back to Advent 1 is the season of our response back to those acts. So I ask you, how are you going to respond? How will you respond to this season of Pentecost, knowing that you are continually being called to be a part of God's community, to be a part of God's family? Who are your brothers? Who are your sisters? Who are your mothers, your fathers? In today's parable, we hear Jesus tell the crowds that no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed, the house can be plundered. This Thursday morning Bible study, Bishop Lewis discussed with us, in more words or less, that he saw this parable as a metaphor for Jesus binding up or tying up Satan to steal away all of those things which take us from the love of God. To steal away all of those burdens, all of those tough times, all of those negative moments that we can't tackle on our own. In my mind and in my own experiences, that is exactly what this family does and what this family can do. Again, when you hand out hot breakfast sandwiches to those at the food bank, when you participate on mission trips, when you feed and clothe the hungry, when you help to build a school, you are stealing away all of those things which will make the world seem so dark and so dim. And in return, you are spreading the love and the light of Christ. As the light and the love are spread, our family grows, and another brother, another sister, another mother are welcomed into the St. James family, into Jesus' family, into God's family. Trinity family, into our family. So I ask you again, how are you going to respond to this season of Pentecost? Who are your brothers? Who are your sisters? Who are your mothers? What will you help to steal away? One final word for our seniors who are graduating or have graduated in the recent weeks. First of all, congratulations. We are very proud of you. You are entering into a new and exciting, wonderful season of life, and we wish you the very best. If you recall two weeks ago when Bishop Johnson was here, he preached that Christianity is not a personal thing.
cross as we affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. 